Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the brand new Ray-Ban RB4416 new Clubmaster sunglasses. But first off, we have today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So first off, let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These frames have 51 millimeter lenses and a 20 millimeter bridge, and this the standard size of the sunglasses. They also do produce these in a larger lens size, which has 53 millimeter lenses in the same 20 millimeter bridge. Raven says the new Clubmaster have a minimalistic design and that these are a reshape of the iconic culture of the icon of the Clubmaster that has been a symbol of authority since 1989. The new Clubmaster features minimalistic lines representing the natural evolution that will speak to inspirational thinkers and visionaries. And I think these are a really cool and interesting take on the original Clubmaster style. So I actually have a pair of 51 millimeter original uh, Ray-Ban Clubmasters here to show you guys a quick little comparison of the two frames. So here is the original original 51 millimeter club masters so i'll give you guys a quick little 180 of these frames on face and of course is the classic looking club master style which looks really really good and then here we have the new uh, club master which also look really good in my opinion as well and the biggest difference as far as the fronts go i would probably say is the lower rim of the frames the new club master is definitely a lot more angular than the more smooth original club master now as far as weight goes the original club master come in at 38 grams and the new Clamaster come in at only 31 grams. And that's thanks to their really thin uh, metal temples here where the originals had these more thicker acetate frames. The new Clamaster also has all glass lenses, so the optical clarity of these is really, really good. And of course, they're also going to block 100% of UVA and UVB rays as well, which is extremely important for your eye health. Now, if we take a closer look at the frames, we can see some really nice etching here on the center bridge of the sunglasses. And we can also see a painted Ray-Ban logo here here in the top right corner of the lens. They also have a little etched RB logo, which is there for authentication purposes as well. Now moving that temples, you can see some really beautiful etching here, which look really good in my opinion. And then also here on the uh, rim part of the brow line design, we can see a little etching here as well, which looks really good and feels good as well. They also have fully adjustable nose rests. You can completely adjust these to your liking, which is really nice. And that makes this pair of sunglasses very practical and very comfortable when wearing on the face for long periods of time. Also coming in at 31 grams, they are very lightweight, which is nice as well. These frames also have acetate ear rests, which you can actually heat up and bend them to give a custom fit to the face, which is really nice as well as far as comfort goes. Now these frames are made in Italy. They say here in the inner right temple of the frames, they say Ray-Ban made in Italy. And then if we take a look here at the uh, inner left temple of the frames, we can see they say RB4416 Nucleo Master with some more information on there. These frames have very nice and premium all metal hinges, which are a three barrel hinge and they just feel very, very good when you open up and when you close them. And I absolutely love the design of this hinge. It just kind of comes out at an angle and looks really beefy and strong. It looks really, really good. Now as far as coverage from Sun goes, these frames unfortunately do not offer very good coverage. So here up top we can see there's a huge gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the side again there's an absolutely massive gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. So definitely not a very practical pair of sunglasses from Ray-Ban. But overall I really do like the styling of these frames. I really do like how lightweight they are and yet they still have that kind of bold Clubmaster presence. I also really like how the little metal accents are a little bit smaller than you'd find on a traditional Clubmaster style. And then again the more geometric uh, style here on the bottom of the rim also adds some really cool character to these frames as well. Now, as far as pricing goes, these frames are going to run you around $163 directly from Ray-Ban's website and in most stores. And I'm going to leave a link description down below directly to Ray-Ban's website. But we also do have these on my official store where we sell these for about $20 off the original MSRP. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below directly to my website and Ray-Ban's website if you are interested in current pricing and availability of these frames. Well, that's all I got for in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.